Von Alexander. Say hello. Hey. Hi kids, we made it to Long Island here in New York. We can't wait for the show tonight. And then tomorrow for the last leg of this part of the tour, we are in New Haven, Connecticut, where I'm gonna be hosting it, so come check it out. And if you haven't gotten your oh, that's cute. if y'all haven't checked out and gotten tickets yet, okay. check out dragfans.com, get your tickets, find out show times, find out people performing all that. Get your life together. Hi kids, we're here in New York, ready for the meet and greet. Getting our last little Siggy tick in. We got Roxy and Naomi. Say hi, Kim, real quick. Say hi, real quick. Hi. Look, they're like, hi, girl. Hi. Honey, Michael Perez done came through with the sickest pair of earrings for Christmas. Yes. Oh, thank you. And a coat, too. living her Backstreet Boy fantasy right now. Look at all the fun Manila things you can buy on the Christmas Queens tour. You can buy a CD, you can buy a poster, you can buy, buy my book, which comes with a free CD. You can buy my pin. You can buy my When we go into post, yeah. we'll just bump them up. Yeah. yeah. Which is fine. Okay. Um, yeah, that's good. Alright. Thanks. Very nice. No, I have one. Okay. Sometimes there's weird tricks. You just let the left go. What's in here? 
Love you too, Amy. And Sugar Pill. Oh my god, there's a I'm very excited right now because I just got a bunch of stuff from Sugar Pill and I cannot wait to try it because it's gonna be fabulous. These are a bunch of pretty lip um liquid lip color and this one. Yeah, Iggy is so excited about this color that he is barking of, because he's jealous. Thank you so much, Sugar Pill. I cannot wait to try all of my liquid poisons and 10 new shades to die for. Have you ever seen this movie? The sci-fi movie, The Alligator Man? I'm mirando esta película. I'm mirando, I'm mirado esta película. The Alligator Man. Hmm. Question. Awesome. Oh look, there she is. Ay, mirala. There she is. La Joan Crawford. Joan Crawford in the movie Rain. In la película Juvia. Rain. Hollywood history. It's real big like your aunt's like hair. A like a raccoon. Who? Just fixing your hair yeah. real nice. That fixing that hair. One. There she goes out to. <laughs> <laughs> now, why do I need to put mascara on here? Maybe the bottom ones. Shh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna finally finish those photos for today. That means we can put them online tomorrow night. Would you like to see them? So I've been having this real like hate relationship with Facebook for quite a while now. And every time I go on there, I just been like, oh. This makes me feel really icky, like everyone's just ranting and raving or whinging and just like, you know, it's just, I just, I'm like, oh, it's, I'm sorry, but I just don't care. But I still go on there like, you know, a few times a week just to check my notifications and there's nothing that I want to see anyway. Um, but then I do like seeing the memories pop up and I think, oh, I'm, I haven't really posted anything for like a long time. And I guess it really is a nice way of, or a convenient way of capturing, you know, your life. Um, and you know, it's like having a photo album, I guess. Um, and it'd be a shame to miss it on that. And I was talking with Courtney when she was here before about how much I hated it. And she's like, oh girl, just unfollow everyone except the people that post nice, interesting things. So I just went on and I just deleted, don't want to delete it, unfriended, unfollowed, unfollowed. About a hundred people. Oh, joy. So I'm gonna make it my point every day to go on for however long I want to be on there for and just unfollow everyone. Done. That's it. Easy. Solved. And I can start using it again. But in saying that, you know, one of the reasons why I hate Facebook is all those people putting their fucking two cents in when they fucking don't need to. And here I am telling you my fucking life story. Anyway, it's different because, you know, don't know why, but it is. 
I've got a few spare seconds while something's in the oven, waiting for it to um to come out. Not a cake, it's a wig. Um, and so I thought I would make myself some numerai here in the interim. It's very exciting. I found this, um, I had this, this wig sitting in a box for ages, this human hair wig. And I've got these extensions, I thought, I'm gonna make myself some new Mariah hair for tomorrow night, so I'm gonna do Mariah. Not doing Mariah, I'm just gonna do a Mariah number in a Mariah wig, you know. I would like to do Mariah as Mariah. I always like to do it in full Mariah, but um, I've gotta do five shows tomorrow night and it's not very, you know, practical to have a Mariah face on for the whole night. Looks a bit weird in other wigs, it does. So um, I'll just be in my normal face with the Mariah. A little trick when I'm doing nice, big, teased up, voluminous do's, get a bit of texture dusting powder and sprinkle it onto each section of the hair before you tease it. Nice. I'm using the expensive one because that's all I've got, but for these, the just the generic brand from somewhere like Cole's New World for six dollars does the same thing, same shit. Um, and you watch. Oh, it's gonna be lovely now. Easy. I'll do it for you in a second. Just wait. Oh, and now watch this. And this is particularly good with a fresh wig when the hair is nice or the fibre is nice and um, nice and shiny and smooth. It just gives a bit of texture, a bit of grit. So you can do your beautiful 